Hello everyone. I Dr. Muhammad Haris Mayun welcomes you to the Chemical Engineering and Aspen channel where we will be presenting you the lecture number 30 on the topic of chemical reaction engineering. And in today's course coverage we will solve example number 5.5 from chapter number 5 which is isothermal design and that is the building block number 4 of our CRE algorithm. So let's quickly read the statement that we consider the packed wet reactor in example 5.4. We have solved that example in the previous lecture, which is lecture number 29. So you can see that example first, and then you can come back here. And if you have already done, then you can start from here. So in example 5-4, for the case where a second order reaction, two moles of A produces one mole of B and one mole of C is taking place in 20 meters of 1.5 inch schedule 40 pipe packed with catalyst. The flow and pack condition in the example remain the same except that they are converted now to SI units such as the initial pressure is 10 atm and that is equal to 1013 kilopascal. The entering volumetric flow rate V0 is equal to 7.15 cubic meter per hour or 252 cubic foot per hour. Catalyst pellet size D of P is 0 0.006 meter or 0 0.25 inches. The solid catalyst density is 1923 kg per cubic meter or 120 pound mass per cubic foot. The cross-sectional area of the pipe is 0.0013 square meter. The pressure drop parameter beta naught is 25.8 kilopascal per meter. We had calculated that over there. Reactor length is 20 meter. Now what we need to do? First we need to calculate the conversion in the absence of pressure drop. This example will highlight the effect of pressure drop on the conversion and we will see what are the variations we are getting it and in the second part obviously we will consider the pressure drop and then we will calculate the conversion and in the third part we will determine how over this answer which is calculated in B changes if the catalyst particle diameter is doubled. The value of K is 12 meter raised to power 6 divided by K mole kg of catalyst or because it's a packed bed system so I've already told you that minus RA prime will be used in the packed bed reactors. So starting from this equation, which is x is equal to kCa0 W over V0 bracket 1 minus alpha W over 2 divided by 1 plus kCa0 W over V0 and brackets 1 minus alpha W over 2. We had derived that equation in our previous lecture number 29 as well. Now we know that bulk density is equal to catalyst density into 1 minus void fraction. Now the void fraction is 0.45, this density is 1923. So accordingly, the bulk density is 1058 kg per cubic meter. Going to this equation, W is equal to AC cross-sectional area rho C1 minus phi into L, while this rho C into 1 minus phi is actually the rho of B. So A of C, rho B, L. Now cross-sectional area is 0 0.0013, bulk density is 1058. The length is 20. Accordingly, we get weight of catalyst as 27.5 kg. Going to this part, which is actually with this part here that kca naught w over v naught which is constant here and constant here i mean the identical these two parts are identical so accordingly k is 12 ca naught is 0.1 w is 27.5 and v naught is 7.15 so the answer is 4.6 so it means we will put the value 4.6 here and 1 plus 4.6 and again the brackets will be used so starting with the first case which is delta P is equal to zero. There is no pressure drop in the system. So accordingly, we will start from this equation. For no delta P, alpha will be zero. Once alpha is zero, the inside terms, the bracket terms will be canceled out and we get the conversion as 82% or 0.82. It was very straightforward that we have to just ignore alpha in this equation and we can calculate the value. So it is actually 4.6. This value was 4.6. 4.6 plus 1. So obviously 5.6. So accordingly, it will get 82% conversion. But once there is a pressure drop in the system, alpha is equal to 2 beta naught over P naught A of C rho B. We know the value. So accordingly, we get alpha is equal to 0 0.037 per kg. In our previous example, we had calculated alpha already. And this is the same procedure which we are adopting here as well. And 1 minus alpha W over 2, so alpha is 0 0.037, W is 27.5. Accordingly, we get this bracket value as 0.49. From slide number 13, which was previously, KCA0W over V0 was 4.6. So 
accordingly x is equal to k c and w or v naught this value is 4.6 the bracket value 0.49 divided by 1 plus 4.6 into 0.49 so accordingly the conversion is 69.3 you see that once we did not assume a pressure drop the conversion was 82 percent but accordingly for the real systems once there is a pressure drop there is a decrease in the conversion so we see the predicted conversion dropped from 82.2 percent to 69.3 percent because of pressure drop it would not be only embarrassing but also an economical disaster if we had neglected pressure drop and the total conversion or the actual conversion had turned out to be significantly smaller because if you see the percentage error would be higher it means that you cannot ignore the pressure drop in your system in the pack bed system or the systems where there is a chance of pressure drop even it is, if it is smaller you always have to consider because it would have an effect minor or major effect on the conversion so for a better system because if you remember our first lecture that selection of a reactor system or a suitable reaction system is the key task of this CRE course and we have to select such a system that is economically successful because or economically feasible otherwise it will lead to a failure so if you know this parameter which is delta p then you are leading to a disaster in the system so that is the overall explanation of why we have to consider delta p in our systems once we are designing our reactor now the particle diameter has inverse relationship with both alpha and beta for part c whence we say that we are doubling the value of d of p so alpha 2 is equal to alpha 1 dp1 over dp2 alpha 1 is 0 0.037 if we say this one because we said it is doubling so 1 by 2 accordingly we get alpha 2 is equal to 0 0.0185 per kg and accordingly we get conversion as 77.4 so this is the overall solution that if we are doubling the particle diameter so accordingly we get the increased conversion in our system now let's summarize the points for the large particle diameter and small particle diameter or sizes as you can see with the increase in the particle diameter the conversion first increases and then decreases and these two regions have been identified as pressure drop dominant and internal diffusion inside catalyst dominant what does that mean at small particle diameter if you start from here the value of k is high or we can say it is at its maximum but obviously the pressure drop will be high as you increase the particle diameter or as you can see as you are moving this line the pressure drop starts to reduce and so is the rate constant and the rate of reaction starts to increase accordingly the conversion starts to increase but once you move to this point the internal diffusion inside the catalyst becomes dominant and accordingly with the increase in particle diameter the conversion starts to decrease so we can say that this point is the optimum diameter point for our system and we have to select such point for maximum conversion in our system now the next question is why not pack the catalyst into large diameter to reduce delta p there are two problems with this bypassing or channeling and little efficient of heat transfer rate it means the heat transfer rate is reduced if we increase the large diameter and then pack these in the system so this is the final part of this chapter which was chapter number five isothermal design and we have almost covered our building block number four but there is a twist because Chapter number 6 also focuses on it which includes micro reactors, membrane reactors. So we will now focus or we will shift our focus to that part now. So I hope you have understood all the aspects of this chapter at today's lecture. If you have any queries, please feel free to provide your comments in the comment section and I would be happy to answer them. So that's it for today's lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned for more exciting videos on this channel.